Hello guys and welcome back to Tech It. Today we'll be going through upgrades. So upgrading of chests, upgrading of machines that you see behind me. Not actually upgrading the block, but upgrades that we can put into them. Uh, things that will improve the machine itself, increase its lifespan before we need to move on to the next version of the machine. Um, also we'll be moving on to improved crafting. Uh, so upgrading uh, away from the crafting bench into the next version which is the project table. So I'll start by using the, going into the project table um, seeing as that is going to be helpful to you um, to help you make uh, everything else that you're going to need. It's going to change the way you craft forever. Okay, so usually we use the crafting table to craft things, right? So if you were to craft something, say well, we'll just take our project table. So let's say you wanted to craft Let's get a few more. Okay, so say you wanted to make a crafting table. And then you only had three pieces of the wood. And it's like, oh crap, I need another piece of wood. This is just for tutorial sake, but if it was something more complicated and there was lots of other bits in there, you'd be like, oh I've got to take it all back out again. Or you'd walk away from it and then everything will pop out all over the ground. So what we're going to do is we're going to make ourselves a project table. Now a project table is very easy to make. It's just a crafting table, a chest, some wood and some stone. Uh, you have the means to make all of these things so it shouldn't be a hassle at all. Um, so go ahead and make yourself a project table. Um, now what you want to do is place down your project table, table somewhere. Now the difference is with the project table is Say we're doing the same thing, making something, uh, we run out of stuff, and we're making a project, we're making a crafting table. It's like, oh no, run out of wood. You walk away, nothing pops out, stays in position. It'll stay where it where it is, and you can leave things in this little storage spot down here. So if you're in mid crafting, you'd set up a whole project in here. You could have all sorts of stuff waiting around, so you could craft something from from scratch. Um, without having to have anything in your inventory. You could leave stuff there all the time. So if there was something you were making all the time, like say wires, you could just have things always sat in there waiting to make them. Um, so another thing uh, that is good about the project table is if say you had the crafting table but you wanted to make more of them, uh, so you've made the recipe once, well, all you need to do is store extra resources in there. So you take a crafting table out. See that then? It pulls the wood out of here or whatever resources it needs it pulls it out of this little storage spot into the project table so I could just keep making these and you see the wood going down in the bar it just keeps pulling out the wood as it needs it so you could make as many as you wanted you can just keep on building it up and up and up and you can just like keep things that you need in here so project table is going to revolutionize the way that you craft um, so that should help you um, with a lot of the upgrading you're going to be doing. You can set up a few of these um, around, um, so if there's lots of things you're working on, you can just leave them halfway done if you run out of materials, that sort of thing. So um, project tables, very worthwhile, I do recommend making them. Um, next we will go into the chest upgrades. So you're probably running, running out of storage space at the moment. So what we're going to do is we're going to increase the storage space without having to make these into double chests. Now, unfortunately you can't upgrade a, um, a double chest, you can only upgrade a single chest. Um, and the way you do this is you can either upgrade it on the spot using a chest upgrade. Uh, so these things. Um, unfortunately when you press R on these they don't show you how to make them. Um, you're going to have to go over to the TechIt wiki and type in iron chest and this should bring you to a page with all the various different chest upgrades that you can get within TechIt. Um, you can either make the upgrade or if you want to immediately have um, a bigger chest you can craft uh, the chest um, before you place it. Um, but I usually already have a chest down and then decide I want to upgrade it so I'll show you how that works. Um, so just go to the TechIt wiki, learn how to make these um, they're fairly simple recipes, uh, but I won't go into it now because it'll be a lot of faffing around and time wasted when you can just have a look on the wiki. I'm here to show you how things work, not how to craft them. Um, so, if we wanted to say upgrade our, our chest, uh, say this was getting really full, uh, we'd make ourselves um, a normal chest to iron chest upgrade. Uh, and then you just right click with it in your hand, and on the spot, chest upgrades extra space in there without uh, dropping the items all over the place. Um, then you could upgrade again, you could get the iron to gold, uh, 
and you can upgrade again gold to diamond. Um, you, there is a further upgrade after the diamond um, to crystal. I don't recommend making the crystal chest unless it is for Lux. Um, the crystal chest does not have any extra storage on top of the diamond chest and it tends to cause lag if you have a lot of them around because all the items are on display. So I don't really recommend making the uh, crystal chest. Uh, diamond chest is the best you're going to get for storage um, unless we move on to alchemical chest but that is going to be later on. Um, so for now um, this is probably the best chest you're going to have so um, I do suggest upgrading your chest. Uh, just remember go to the tech it wiki and you are looking for iron chest. Um, that is the name of the mod and it is very useful. Um, so uh, you can just go around upgrading your chest and stuff. Uh, now if we move on to the machines. Uh, now machines, when you first get them, they're not that great. So say we wanted to get some iron dust. We'd stick our stuff in the macerator. And it's just taking forever. It's taking absolutely ages. So what you can do is you can make yourself some overclocker upgrades. Now what overclockers do is they speed it up. Um, but what this will also do is it will require to be drawing more power from the battery box. So we place this in. It's a little bit faster. Place another one. A little bit faster again. Another. It's getting faster and faster each time you place one in there. See that? Now we got to seven and it's run out of power. So if we go back to six seems to be stable at six now oh no, it's, it's going down slowly uh, so if you're wanting to go beyond this you're going to need some energy storage upgrades now an energy storage upgrade um, I've already shown you how to make all these things uh, they were parts used in um, other um, machines and things that you've uh, made in the past uh, so you should have all of these if you've uh, been following my guidelines of having spares um, or you can just go away and craft some more. Um, so an energy storage upgrade, what you do is you plonk that in there and if we take that out the energy is going to build back up. It's taken a bit longer than it usually would because it now has a bigger um, energy storage capacity so it's drawing more power in than it would usually. So what you can do now is we place the overclockers in again, go to 7. See it's lasting a lot better, remember last time it was completely drained instantly. It's, it's got a lot longer on it, it's, it's, so it does make a big difference if you're only wanting to get a few things done. And you see even a tiny break and it just it builds back up again. Um, now the overclockers. Um, the overclockers are going to require a, uh, a new item that you haven't made before. Um, Coolant cells. You've already made copper cables and elect electronic cable, um, circuits, so um, I'm not going to go into them. But coolant cells you've never made before. Uh, coolant cells. Is, you're going to be using the extractor, uh, same machine that you used on your uh, resin in the previous videos. Um, so you're going to need some water cells. Water cells. Very easy to make. It's just some tin, um, which you already know how to get in this configuration. So you get yourself some uh, cells and then they work the exact same way the buckets do. So just find yourself some water. Um, probably an infinite one, so um, where it's got two sides coming into it and um, a block underneath. So you can just keep on right clicking with these and you'll see they're filling up on the on the side over here. Uh, sometimes that number doesn't update, I think that's some kind of bug, but um, when you actually click on it yourself it will actually upgrade. So you can just hold the right click button and this will keep on draining them. Uh, the number on the cells that are full won't go up, but then uh, if you just click on it and put it out you'll see the number updates itself. So if we go over to our um, extractor, which is this one, and stick a water cell in it. Now it will start extracting um, the water cells into coolant cells. Uh, the thing to be aware of with uh, the extractor is that it can only do one water cell at a time. Um, so the machine will stop after each t uh, each one it's finished. So you're going to need to come over and pull the coolant cell out 
before it can continue making the next one. Uh, this can be a bit time consuming. Um, in either the next video or the one after, I will be going into how to pull things out of machines automatically, which will help with this. So you can have these being pulled instantly straight out and into uh, a chest, which will be handy to use because you don't want to be coming over here all the time. Um, so if you watch the next video, uh, you will find out how to pull this out. But um, now you know how to get coolant cells, so you can go ahead and make yourself some overclocker upgrades. Uh, overclockers work in uh, most machines. Uh, see these slots here? Just stick them in there, they can stack on top of each other. And you see how it's a, it's a lot faster the more upgrades you get in there. So, much better. Um, all machines are improved by these, um, so very worthwhile. Uh, get yourself some overclocker upgrades and uh, energy storage upgrades. Now, transformer upgrades, at this point you're not really going to need them. Um, but seeing as this is the upgrade video, I will go into how to make them. Um, now, there's a machine here you haven't made before. Um, the MV Transformer. Now, transformers are for reducing uh, the current coming from um, the power out of your uh, energy storage. So, for example, this is pumping out 32 EU, which is low voltage. Um, now, if we uh, were using improved power, which we haven't been into yet, um, but say this was more than 32 EU, these machines probably couldn't handle it and would blow up, so they would need a transformer. Um, now, you can either use a transformer block, um, so an MV transformer or an LV transformer, so if we go to transformers here, so you've got the LV transformer, MV transformer, and HV transformer. Now what this does, it converts the power into um, the the next stage. So if, say, you had high voltage coming in from a high voltage solar panel or, some, or a nuclear power plant, and you needed you only needed medium voltage, you'd need to stick a medium voltage transformer in between, so, in, so between the machine and the power, um, to stop the machines getting overloaded and blowing up. Um, so transformers, you can either make a transformer or you can make uh, transformer upgrades to stick into your machines. Now if you've only got uh, one or two machines, it's not too bad making the transformer upgrades. Um, but I tend to make the transformer block itself, so I'm not going to bother putting these transformer upgrades because it'd be kind of pointless um, here. Um, but just be aware in the future um, when we go into transformers, um, that you do have the option of making this transformer upgrade instead of placing a transformer block down. Um, it's more just for space saving and things like that, um, but it's something to be aware of. The main upgrades you want in right now are probably the overclocker and the energy storage, um, so um, they're probably the only ones you're going to want to go into. So we've been through chest upgrades, uh, upgrades that you can put into machines, and crafting upgrade uh, of the project table. Um, hopefully this has been helpful to you. I've been Nithilus and I will see you in the next video where we'll be covering moving items from chests to other chests, to machines, from machines into chests, from machine into machine, all that sort of good stuff. I will see you then and goodbye. Thank mm -hmm. you.